While many students think that the Eco House is just this mysterious place, maybe off in the woods somewhere, and they don't really know where it is, it does in fact exist, and it is not just a tent. It is a house on Main Street that houses 10 students, all interested in environmental issues and sustainability. The exact location of the house is 439 North Main Street, and in its third year and going strong, Arlo has finally given the Eco House an official sign. The Eco House is here to stay and located across from the Health Center and near the Brick House. And living here is not just like your ordinary dorm life by any means, but it is just like the dorms on campus in that it has a single has single and double rooms with the same type of furniture. We just have to share four bathrooms with a lot less people and have a living room and a dining room for 10 people. We also have two kitchens although pretty small, and can sometimes get very cramped and messy. The kitchens are also very full with all the food that we bring in to feed the house. Also, with 10 people cooking, it can get very chaotic at times, and people don't like to clean up their mess. Especially with all the local produce that we buy, we have all the raw ingredients in the house, so we have to do all the cooking ourselves. Unlike the buffet line in commons. We have apples, tomatoes, squash, we have everything from milk and cheese. But in the buffet line in commons, you can have Chester cook up your pasta de jour for you or share and serve you your burger on the grill line. And all the items on the salad bar are already washed for you. Well, so they say, hopefully. To get all this fresh produce and local food, a few nominated house members wake up at 8 a.m. on a Saturday morning to head to the lovely Davidson Farmer's Market. The house is bustling at 8 a.m. as you can see Allie and Christina here wide awake in the morning. But when I step on campus, it is a ghost town as the clock on chambers strikes 8 or even 10 a.m. Here in this picture, you can see three of our house members with our old school red wagon that we use to cart food home from the market after we buy the food from the vendors. And sometimes we just pull each other around town in the red wagon just for fun. With all the food we bring in, we have community house dinners at least once a week where we take turns cooking with each other to prepare food for the whole house and guests, of course. These house dinners might be similar to a long table full of your friends at Commons once a week where everyone sits down together, enjoys some food, and make really great, sometimes awkward, conversations. Just like they have started composting the food waste in commons when you put your food waste on the tray, we also compost all of our food. But the problem at the moment is that we don't have a compost pile to put it on yet. It's coming with a garden that we are building this weekend. But until then, we have a bit of a health issue with all the flies from the compost. So things in the house are a bit of an adventure, and occasionally disgusting. Just like when I opened this rice maker and found moldy rice in it. It is still sitting there on the floor in the kitchen because, just like we do with our schoolwork, we are all procrastinators on cleaning it. But we do clean the house once a week, except we clean around the rice maker. We have a schedule of who's in charge of scrubbing the toilets that Christina is doing in this picture, taking out the trash and the recycling, and mopping the floors. It was a little hard to adjust to after we had wonderful cleaning ladies like Emma here and Centel cleaning up after us in the dorm every day, cleaning the bathrooms, mopping the halls, vacuuming, and cleaning up our stuff in the lounge. It has been an experiment learning how to mix apple cider vinegar with water to use to mop the floors in the house. The house, in fact, smelled strongly of vinegar for a couple of days. We also put sink dishwashing liquid into the dishwasher so we had a kitchen completely taken over by soap suds. At least it cleaned the kitchen a bit. In the lounges, like the one here in Centel, you can see it is bare, since most people hang out actually in their dorms or at the Union. But the living room in the eco house 
can be at the corner of activity with its comfy couches and the power generating Dio bike to power things like the TV, the lamp, and many other electrical items. It can also collect a lot of junk in the duration of a week. Living in the eco house is about learning to live in a co-op with schedules, cleaning, taking out trash, and learning to get along with each other along the way. It can be frustrating at times to come home to a messy kitchen that you just cleaned up or to take out the trash for the fifth time in a row. But we also do find time to have fun, such as tangoing through the dining room on a study break or a break from drying peaches, setting off the fire alarm, or playing in the suds and the bubbles from the exploding dishwasher. This weekend, instead of the usual court parties, we are going eco-rolling as an internal house event. Other interesting events include William and other house members jumping and sitting on top of the compost buckets to try and get the lids on since they were so full. So I would say the eco house is quite a contrast to Davidson's dorm life. We are like one big family, all living in a house together, being environmentally aware, but also creating some great memories together, like our past house dinner, as you can see in this picture.